hi welcome to voice cart i hope you all are good so uh, today we will learn about cisco ip phone registration and after the registration how you make the internet calls in between the two phones so let's start and see the steps and the process how to get the register cisco ip phone so first thing we need to go to the browser and we need to log in to our cucm so let me log in my credentials first yes once you get logged in in cucm you need to go to your device and then after you need to select the phone after that you have to go to the ip phone where you have installed that let me open my cisco ip phone here it is yeah so first thing you need to do open the cisco ip phone communicator where you have installed it and once the ip phone open you have to copy its device name or you can say the ip uh, its mac address so uh, first it will taking some time so once it open i'll copy the mac address and then after i need to enter few details so that i can get it registered so we have to wait for that it's showing cisco ip phone communicator fetching the ldap details yes so now it's uh, opened and you can see that there is no extension number so you have to do the right click and then go to the preferences from here you can select uh, the network and then after the device name so you have to copy that device name let me copy now go to your cucm and click on add new we have to get it registered so create a new phone add new from here you need to select the cisco ip phone as it is a communicator if you have the hard device you can select the model so it's a communicator so i need to select it the cisco ip communicator click on next then after the protocol sccp click on next from here you have to enter the details so if in device name you have give you have to give the name you copy it from there description let me enter the test let's say test phone and when you click on save it will ask to enter the device pool from here you can read that so i have to enter the device pool let's say uh, anything from your list you can select then after the phone button template i already shared a video about the phone button template then after if you click on the save it will ask the device security profile means you have to give the device security profile before uh, saving it so just click on control f and then you can search out the device security profile you can see on my screen here it is so i uh, give the standard one now you can click on the save and once you click on ok it will save the device configuration yes now the one part is completed and the second part is given the da number that is directory number so click on add new you have to give the directory number the free extension you have in your cucm so let's say 22560 then after you have to uh, enter the root pattern and the css profile i'll make sure that i'll create a new video related to the root pattern and the css so that you can have a clear idea idea about these two things uh, to be honest uh, the complete ipt based on this css and partitions and all that so i'll make sure that i'll create a video separate video for that once you enter these details click on save and your device got registered you can check uh, after 
yes go to the here you can see that it's 22560 the extension number you have given on the cucm the device is registered if you want to see the status of this device go to the device select phone enter the extension number directory number 22560 yes click on find and here it is so you have you can see that the status is registered so our one phone is already registered let me open my the uh, another phone i have already uh, registered uh, and the steps are almost the same so let me open my the open my another phone so these are the steps like uh, uh, you you can follow and then after your device will be registered if you are facing anything uh, related to that if you your phone is not getting registered you can uh, you can comment me or send an email to me i'll come back with the solution so one my one phone is already registered i am opening my another phone it will say take take some time uh, don't know why it is taking time otherwise so just allow me few seconds once the ip phone open yes here it is the second one 22559 my another phone so i have two phones now first one this just we configured it and the second one is this so if you want to take the call just dial the extension number from here you can hear the ring now you answer it and you can see that the phone's phone call got connected you can see over here if you disconnect the call you can uh, just press escape i'll show you from this phone to that phone yes you can hear the ring and now phone connect it if you want to disconnect the call click on end new so this is the video i want to share with you like how you can configure the ip phones and how you can make the internal calls in between two dns so this is the video if you like my video please like share and subscribe voice card and for if you have any suggestions or if you are facing any kind of issues you can write me down in the comment box or email me i'll come up with the solution thank you